Mrs. Brill. Quite sure, and in case you're worried, I've not been exchanged by the fairies for a total nincompoop. Winifred. I'll just go and check the drawing room. Robertson. I'd like to be helpful, Miss Brill. I'd like to be rich, but destiny thought otherwise. Jane. Mother wants you in the drawing room. She says to tell Robertson what to do. Miss Brill. Does she indeed? Robertson. Please, Miss Brill, I don't mind. Honest. Miss Brill. All right, I'll give you one task and one task only. Put the icing tools next to the cake. Do you think you can manage that? Robertson. Is that all? Miss Brill. For you, yes. For me, no. I swear a slave in ancient Rome was on a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. Jane. Michael, why don't we make the icing? Michael. Because we don't know how. Jane. Don't be so feeble. Get the eggs and flour. Michael. Are there eggs and icing? Jane. There are in mine. Robertson, bring me the cake. Winifred. Miss Brill, go up and get ready now. Miss Brill. What have you done? Robertson, Robertson. Oh, dear. Should I call the doctor? Mary Poppins. I don't think that will be necessary, ma'am. Winifred. Children, you know how important this party is. You deserve some very nasty medicine. Just go wait till bedtime. Mary. Oh, I don't think you should wait till then, ma'am. Why don't you go up and get changed? Mary. We'll clear this up, won't we? Michael. But we're not ill. I won't take it. You can't make me. Mary, in that, as in so many things, your information is faulty. Open. Michael, but it's strawberry ice. Mary, now you. Jane, I'm not sure I like strawberry ice. Mary, I'm not sure I care. Open. Jane, lime cordial. Mary, now off we go, you two. Michael, I know you like to keep things neat. Jane, Michael, I told you she was tricky. Jane, must we? Can't Robertson do it when he wakes up? He is a servant. Mary, with that attitude, you'll get through a lot of staff before you're very old. Besides, 